All right, hi everyone. Um, okay, Mark II Escort Estate. We're going to be doing some more work in the back of the car, hence the reason why I'm so stuck in, in here and squashed up. Um, me and John Rabbit, we're going to start uh, fitting this. Okay, so we're fitting that today, like an isolating switch, so we can turn the power to the battery when we're not at the car. Uh, it's got a key, so it's uh, hard to bypass. Um, and we'll actually be fitting it into the back of the car in this position. Uh, luckily, whoever put the battery in the rear of the car has left enough cable for us uh, to join it Beautiful straight off. <laughs> All right, John. Say hello, everyone. Johnny Bollocks. boy. All right. Okay, so what's the plan first, mate? What the fuck? Is this some of your bedroom carpet here? Yeah? Not my bedroom. I can't afford carpet in my bedroom. That's I bought a Mark II Escort. That's very spiffing, that is. All right, so we've got to drill, what, four holes? Something like that. Cut it out. Have a barbecue. Metal jigsaw, have we got one? Possibly. Might be needed. Right. Might just be butchered. Cool. It's why we roll. All right, good. Right, OK, so uh, John's cleverly marked out the holes we want to drill. Not. How have you marked those out, John? By eye? With a drill. Yeah, that's professional. Drills are blunt. Oh, stop, stop, you're going backwards. Right, okay, so <clears throat> I'm just going to quickly disconnect the battery. Obviously, you don't want to be cutting any cables that are connected, um, which is just a simple 13 mil. Disconnect that. Alright, so we've got a jigsaw in the hole. Man, how the hell you didn't break that jigsaw blade then is beyond me. Bugger! Oh, so close. Go on. And now what are you doing? You're splicing it? I'm removing the insulation so I can actually put a terminal on it. Okay, that's a terminal. Very well done. Oh, what? Nine out of ten for you. I know. I could have done this for a living instead of dig driving diggers. Wash your hands, John. With you around, no. I heard you washed your hands for the wedding. No, that was a vicious rumour that was. <laughs> I just didn't work on that day. Just wore skin coloured gloves. You know it. And then insulate the metal end of the tab. Why do you do that? Because otherwise you'll have one of your favourite electrical fires. Okay. So the risk is if that touches the bodywork. That's your main power, unfused, going straight to earth. Right. Yeah. Right, John, straight on what we just found. Woohoo! We like a detached seatbelt. Right, so that should be where? That should be on that the same bolt, bolt as that reel. behind there somewhere. So someone's put the seatbelt on and just literally not even bothered, didn't care. But it shows how well Bodge. people use the seatbelts on this vehicle. That's why I can't trust this motor until we've gone through it all. Now when we come to alarm the car, does that mean that's going to have to have its own power supply, right? A separate power supply directly from the battery or from there? Directly from the battery or from the input side of this. Yeah. Just You need an uninterrupted power supply. And if someone did know that was there, which fucking everyone does now because we've put it on YouTube, they can get around that by literally, what, bridging that with a screwdriver or something? Yeah, coat hanger, small wild animal. Yeah. <laughs>
Right, that's it, end of the first clip. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe, click like, comment, uh, let us know what you want to see more of.